Foam Stars, the Splatoon Killer. I was hoping this would be a bit like Splatoon, but on PlayStation. It's not. Sometimes you get games that try really hard to make you not like them, but you end up liking them anyway. Well, this game's a bit like that. This game tries so hard to make you not like it that it actually ends up succeeding. I think I would have so much more respect for this game if it weren't trying so hard to grab money from your pockets. Why does this shit cost so much? Usually it's a free to play game and then you have a battle pass that you can optionally pay for. It's like they heard of the free to play system but then just got it wrong and just made you pay at every stop. Everyone says it feels like it was made by an AI and it definitely has that feel. I don't think it was actually made by an AI. The timeline doesn't really line up because this would have been in development for like, you know, a, a fair few years and then ChatGPT only really came out like a year ago. The fact that I even feel like I need to explain all this that strongly, it tells you, yeah, it's got a strange feel, this game. Okay, put on a commercial while I move on to the next stage. Despite it trying so hard to convince me it's not a very good game, actually it's fun to play. It's very Splatoon, but it's slightly different. Now, I'm talking about the PvP here. The PvP is fun. However, <laughs> the PvE is much less fun. The Foam Stars missions are incredibly boring and they're difficult to sit through. I just, I wouldn't recommend playing them at all. You get these bubble beasties, is what they're called, and they will just walk towards this thing that you're meant to protect and they don't really do much and that's it, that's the game mode. The squad missions are a bit better, but really it's the PvP that you want to play. Another aspect the developers forgot to consider is that in order to play a multiplayer game, you need other fucking players and I can never find any. In the hub there's two NPCs that just stand there, they don't do anything, they just stand there. But there's three NPCs on Friday though, so it's really popping off on Fridays. Any more in the whole fucking game I'm sure would crash, but it would be cool to see a few more. Just more to do in the hub in general would be great. One thing that's really funny about this game is you're not allowed to say kill, you have to say chill. You chilled them. So it's got this like very child friendly sort of atmosphere, but then everything is gambling. The maps are gambling, the skins are gambling. Let's party bubble style kids. Anyway, let's get on down to the casino. It, isn't that so strange? The cosmetics honestly feel like they just said, ah, they'll pay for it, fuck it, just do whatever. And probably they were right, there are people out there that would pay for it. That said, the characters and their designs, I do think are really cool. I especially like the main K-pop one. I think she's got a really cool look. The penguin one's very cool. Uh, the girl with the ice cream cones on her head that change depending on her mood. Like they go up and down to reflect her mood like a dog or something. So there are some cool designs in the game. I feel like people have been a bit too harsh on this game. Yes, everything aside from the gameplay is a mess, but what aspect of the game matters most? The gameplay, surely. Every thread I've seen of this game where people talk about this game, they have been shitting on it relentlessly. But it's not really that fucking bad. So, if you don't have a Nintendo Switch, sure, give it a try. If you do have a Nintendo Switch, just play Splatoon.